Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Wii Music. It's about time to reveal, once again, the choices or selections chosen from last week's comments um, with song details and all that stuff. So, before I get into that, I'm going to do what I always do and kind of make like an introduction and give you guys feedback on comments and what's going on in the comments and just kind of, you know, help you out again to let you know, you know, how to get picked, I guess. So, things are getting much more unique. Uh, you guys should give yourselves a round of applause because you're getting a lot better about choosing things that are unique. However, I'm seeing a lot of repeats of things like from the previous week. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, oh, that was so awesome. I want to do that. So you pick the same instrument. And right now, I'm trying to get all the instruments out of the way. So, um, it's probably best to try and avoid doing that. But that's really like my one comment for this week, so let's go ahead and get started. And we are starting off with... Oh boy. I have sort of danced to this song. Wait, yeah I have. Swan Lake. I haven't done a legitimate dance to this, but popular ballet. Anyway, chosen by Staffman03, who wanted a fast tempo, no style, a harp, and a jaw harp. So congratulations to you, Staffman, because you actually participated in the challenge I gave, so thank you. This portion of um, Tchaikovsky's famous Swan Lake Ballet is awesome. We're just going to pretend like it said that. Um, I really don't know what this cover is. I was out of ideas for the moment, and so that was your best bet. So work it, um, Staffman. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I... Wait, what was I going to say? There was something I was about to say. Oh, yeah, the challenge. I said to pick two instruments with nothing in the background, or two of the exact same instrument with nothing in the background, which no one did, really, except for like five people. So I loved the mixture of harps to start off. Um, not a big fan of the jaw harp, but a huge fan of the actual harp. But yeah, few, very few people participated in the challenge, and I think that Staffman was the only one who picked the challenge for Swan Lake, so naturally, he got chosen. Um, and somebody else was like that too, where anybody who did the challenge pretty much just got picked because they were the only ones who listened. Um, not that you have to do the challenge every week, because I did pick people who didn't, too. Um, I'm not expecting to do that, but I was excited when I saw that, so, yeah. Work it. So, yes, Bethany plus one. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, um... I was expecting to get a lot of, like, double saxophones, double trumpets, and no one did any of that, so I was kind of disappointed, but oh well. Uh-oh, Do-Re-Mi. Okay, so Do-Re-Mi was actually chosen by me because, and I'll explain in a minute, the password for tomorrow is baby, by the way, remember it. Um, you better have baby in your comments if you want to participate. Uh, anyway, this classic is all about how easy it is to do stuff. Uh-oh. I don't know what just happened on the video. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah. Weird editing. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, the, a lot of people picked unique things for this. Unfortunately, this song mostly and only got people um, who chose percussion instruments. And percussion instruments sound exactly the same the whole time. You can't even hear the melody, so I just took it upon myself to use an instrument that hadn't been used yet and kind of show it off. I used a classical theme for this, too. So I highly respect anyone who chose an instrument that hasn't been used yet. Um, and if it didn't get picked or still hasn't been used, you know, feel free to try again with that same instrument because I'm not looking for the same thing over and over again. Um, so yeah. And a lot of the percussions and drums haven't even been picked, but make sure if you pick those, you might want to pick it with 
something kind of melodic that can hold the melody. Because if you just say you picked a uh, karate guy and a cheerleader, those don't have any melody at all. They're just percussion. They're just made for the background, so they really don't do anything for the song. So anyway, that's um, why no one got picked for that. I apologize. Uh, but that was, it, I mean, I had good choices, it's just that, and it was like a technical aspect, so. Methody and the triplets. And I just used myself for it. Um. Alright, turkey and the straw. Let's work this turkey and the straw. This has one of my absolute favorite instruments in it. Picked by the Luigi Master 34, who wanted Andy Samberg, a slow reggae style. A dulcimer and a whistle. I love the dulcimer. It's in one of my absolute favorite Coldplay songs of all time. Classic U.S. folk song. This tune pokes along leisurely to feel free. Oh, whatever. So yeah. Um, I never thought of this as the turkey song. Like um, I always thought of it as do your ears hang low, like when the ice cream man's driving by. <laughs> There's your brilliant cover. It's so unique. I really don't know what I was going for with that either. Um, so yeah, um, I really, really did like this choice, the selection, because I love the dulcimer number one, but whatever, it's not only about instruments I like, I'm just saying that I felt inclined to this, I guess. Yeah, this definitely had to be one of my top choices because um, I absolutely love that instrument, as I've said like ten times now. But the Luigi Master worked the N64 whistle. I love how much that whistle is in Mario Party and like all the N64 games. You hear that whistle go off. I guess it's in Super Nintendo games too, but oh well. What is that? I don't want to see this guy blow bubbles. I don't know that I've ever played this to a slow tempo like this. So, um, the whistle is a perfect example of one of those, um, percussion instruments that doesn't have a melodic feel at all. You just kind of go with it. So, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Andy and the triplets. Work it. Thank you, the Luigi Master. Big round of applause. As always. So, yes. Oh gosh. Over the waves, here we go. I promise this is not favoritism, this just happened. This was chosen by Slim Kirby, who wanted Andy Samberg, a fast rock style, an acoustic guitar, and a hand clap. Um, and by this point, oh yeah, this is like the circus and trapeze song of the wonderful day. I don't know, back in the day. Whenever that was, but um, in case you haven't noticed the pattern going on here... <laughs> that's your beautiful cover, Slim Kirby. I hope you like it. I hope you love it, anyway. Um, if you haven't noticed the pattern going on, I haven't chosen any instruments yet that have been played already. Um, as I talked about at the beginning of this video, that's kind of what I was going for with this. I was thinking, we're going to choose only instruments that have not been picked yet. And I'm not talking about like the background instruments or stupid stuff like that, but, you know, um, just things that haven't been picked yet for the majority of this entire video, really. Ooh. 
those palm trees again. <laughs> yep, the hand clap gets pretty into it. It makes like a million hot air balloons appear in the background. I don't really know what I was going for with, um, that. <laughs> anyway, um, over the waves, Andy in the courts. Thank you, Slim Kirby, for that selection. And thank you to everybody who's been chosen so far that I've talked about, um, for not choosing an instrument that's already been played, whether it was by chance or on purpose. Uh-oh, there's GP. So now it's time for one of my favorite Madonna songs, Material Girl. Chosen by Waluigi Freak789, who wanted Grandpa, a slow <laughs> style, um, or slow tempo, with no style, an upright bass, and a cello. Um, so we had quite the classical feel on this. As made famous by Madonna, this song made fun of 1980s materialism. It's one of the catchiest songs of the 80s, so indulge yourself in its vivacious vibe. Um, yeah, I, I had a feeling that GP would be the one doing this song because he's like, well, him or Andy, they're like two of the only dudes. Wait, Wario is an option too. Regardless, I had a feeling that GP would be singing the song. <laughs> I have to say that the cello and violin and those instruments are actually the weirdest to play on Wii Music. I actually liked the way this turned out though, how it was just kind of acapella classical with the two instruments that look very alike but are different. So this was another example of someone who chose to go with the challenge, so I applaud you again for that. Um, by using just two instruments, nothing in the background. I might offer another challenge this week, but I think I'll leave it up to you guys um, again and then maybe have a challenge next time, but I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> any bowed instrument in this game you have to like constantly be moving the Wii remote like side to side and pressing the buttons at the same time. It's very... It takes some coordination I guess because it took me a while to get used to. Work it, Waluigi Freak789. Big round of applause to everyone who was chosen this week and their song selections. Please leave a comment um, to those of you watching, picking your favorite, because I'm still doing the kind of mystery uh, competition thing. Um, but thank you again to everybody for participating. It really does mean a lot. No, you don't have to have the password to comment in this video. A lot of people have been doing that, um, probably more as a joke. but. For those of you who were worried about it, because I know some people were, you don't have to use that. Just remember the comment, or not the comment, the um, password for your comment for tomorrow to submit song details. And um, just remember, try and pick instruments that haven't been chosen yet, and that goes kind of for styles, too. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Madame Morio with more Wii Music, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the next video.